Is that a bear? 
I think it was a man. A man bear? No, just a man. Oh my god. Oh my god. God damn it, Woody. I thought you said you were straight to drive, man. What was that? I think it's under the truck. We're gonna die! God damn it, Woody, we ain't gonna die. Now back this fucking truck up so we get the fuck out of here. With the long-anticipated senior year around the corner, I think it's time to join the secret society of sleep addicts. Who am I kidding? I dream loudly, but I have to buckle down if I want to get into a good college. I don't want to jinx myself. Forget school for now. After today, it's officially beach week and I can't wait. I'm going with my BFF since grade school, Carrie, and her stupid boyfriend, Freddie. Spring break, bitches! I swear one day I hope he knocks himself out doing that pose. <laughs> Have a seat, Frederick. Yes, ma'am. Hey, buddy. <laughs> then there's Jason. He's my half-cousin, which doesn't stop him from trying to put the moves on me. Barf. <laughs> Ugh, Brooklyn, my other BFF, Samara's douche boyfriend. He moved here in the sixth grade, but still claims New York. Ew, I wish he would move back. Which brings me to Samara. She's in geometry, probably chewing gum and playing with her hair. So pens off to you, dear journal. Let's make this one black, white, red, and awesome all over. Okay, class, settle down. I want you to spend the remainder of the class reading chapter 13 on moving proteins into membranes. I've got some protein that needs moving. You can move yourself to the principal's office if you like. That's what I thought. Now begin reading, class. Excuse to the restroom. <laughs> hey, soldier. Hey, you. You miss me? Oh, a little. You ass. <laughs> okay, okay. I missed you. Get me the fuck out of here. It's not going to be the same without you. No chance. Hey, Christine. Hey. Did you talk to Samara? Yeah, she's not coming. How many times is she going to put up with his shit? A million. I hope that kid falls. Yeah. Can I smell? These aren't cut up Twinkies, Jason. <laughs> Fucking lard ass. Oh my god, what the fuck is he doing here? Mm. 
What's he doing here? Samara's not coming. I told him he could still come. Why'd you do that? Because he has the weed. Get off my nuts. What it? What it? What it? What it? Run you! Hey man, go pay for petrol, man. This isn't enough to get to Mexico, huh? Hey asshole, what the fuck you looking at?
Let's get the fuck out of here. What the fuck you do, Woody? Road beers. Oh, shit. Continue on this route for 87 miles. Yo, can I GPS tell us where we could get some dank nugs? <laughs> I wish. So what's the first thing you guys are gonna do when you get to the beach? I'm gonna get fucking drunk. I can't wait to just lay out. Me too, and take a dip in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to pot that motherfucker. Yeah, swim for sure. You gonna swim with your shirt on again, Jason? What? I get sunburn easy. Yeah, it's not because of your mitts. Mitts? Yeah, man tits. <laughs> Shut up, Freddy. I told you I was born with an extra thyroid. And two stomachs like a cow. Cows have four stomachs, dumbass. Don't be jealous because Jason has bigger tits than you. Fuck you, Freddy. Don't be a dick. What? Cool. Weed. What? I can get down. Hey. So, why did Samara bail again? Oh, she had crabs. She didn't want to give it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ass. Yeah, right. Yo, I need to take you small town peeps to BK, show you how we get down for real, for real. Yeah, I could go for a whopper. No, man, I'm talking about Brooklyn, fool. I thought you said you were from Syracuse. Well, yeah, I mean, I am, but I hung out in Brooklyn a lot. That's where my, my cousins stay at. Aren't they, like, really far apart? Like, hundreds of miles? Yeah, I, I live, like, right on the line. What are you, the Riddler or something? Stop asking me so many questions. I'm trying to roll this blunt. Hey, hey, Jason, bring me back a sweet tea. Hi, where's your bathroom? Who wants to know? Uh, me? I really need to use your bathroom, miss. It's around back, darling. It? Thank you. Honey. Did you forgetting something? You need a key. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Don't you be going and flushing your bloody tampons down the toilet and leaving them all with your way. You throw them in the goddamn trash, you hear? Um, okay. All you high school girls bleed like Dracula fucked Willy Wonka and formed a blood vat. And slaughtered all those Oompa Loompas and made a bunch of Bloody Marys. But Gina Coyote Uglies, not a Dracula's wives, went out of the nun in the town and went to a bachelor party and all had their periods at the same time. Y yes, ma'am.
What the fuck is she doing? Dropping the kids off at the pool and giving them swimming lessons? You're so gross. <laughs> That fucking bitch! I knew I couldn't fucking trust her. God damn it, I knew it. Ugh. Just relax, Dirk. You don't want to hulk out. It's been six weeks since you've been laid. Just, just be cool. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? You look like somebody killed your cat. Cat? I don't have a fucking cat. Are you mistaking me for someone else? It's an expression. What's your problem? Express this bitch. Hello, Dirk. Cat? I'm a fucking dog person. Don't you know me at all? What did you eat? Shut up, Freddy. Oh, shit! Maybe she just needs to eat some grass or something. Really, Freddy? Look, that's what my dog does when his stomach is upset. Yeah, I, I think it was just something I ate. School cafeteria, I don't know. Yeah, looks like Friday's corn dogs. Let's get out of here. Why don't you shut up, Jason?
shithole. All right, Jason, let's go. For what? Because I said I have something important to tell you. No, you don't. You're just gonna tell me something dumb when we get in there. Guys, just go. Yeah, go, Freddy. Get the fuck out of the car. Okay, God. Hey, how are you feeling? Better. Just having some major cramps. Are you starting? No, I already had it. What can I do you for? We'd like two rooms. King size it is. Smoker or none? No, we'd like two rooms. Two rooms? Are you guys with another couple? No, they're for us. Well, you know those don't connect, right? We're not gay. Aren't you holding his dick on the way in? Because I don't like clean blood off the sheets and shit off the ceilings. No, sir. Okay. Two non-gay rooms. It'll be 65 Check out, it's 11 a.m. You wanna lick my balls? What? You wanna lick my balls? Excuse me, sir, one more time? I said, do you want a wake-up call? Oh, no, we're good. You're all set. Those rooms are at the end of the building on the left. Thank you. Oh, and guys, enjoy your stay. Thanks. Hey, look, I know we got two beds, but why don't you go ahead and sleep out in the car, buddy? What? No, I paid for one of those rooms. Come on, I'm just trying to get some alone time with Carrie. Oh, man, forget that. Plus, dude, she smells like corn dogs and throw up. Just give me ten minutes. I'll wave you in when I'm done. No, man, I'm tired. How about I break off your butt plug? All right, fine. Ten minutes, buddy. Now we're stopping for the night. Jason, what are you doing? I think he wants to jerk off or something. No. Freddy said I had to sleep in the car so we could have sex with Carrie. You fat fuck. You're unbelievable. You are such a dick, Freddy. See what you made me do? And if I see you step one foot inside that room, I will fuck you up.
What? I'm not doing nothing. Babe, are you still upset because of what fat ass said? Because I'll kick his ass if you want me to. What? I will for you. I'm not going to let anyone disrespect my girl. Oh, come on, Freddy. Come on, for real. You can't let little punks like that get to you. Throughout your life, you're going to come across people who constantly want to knock you down because you're a good person. I know because I'm good people. Freddy, I'm not having sex with you. <laughs> what sex? That's the furthest thing from my mind. Unless you want to. No, I don't feel well. Babe, I got blue balls. Good, I hope they fall off. How can you say that? Our twins are in there. Frederick the second and Fredrina. I'm sick here. Are you seriously still talking? There's no such thing as blue balls. It's just something guys say to get laid. It's not just blue balls. The men in my family have a long history of producing ten times the amount of testosterone of the average Greek god or gorilla. We have to have sex every day. Preferably ten times a day. Yeah, so you've told me. Then you know it could lead into explosive penis syndrome. Rumor has it the last pope died from it. Freddy, if you don't get the fuck out of my face with that shit, you'll be lucky to get any this trip. You're fucking lost, bitch! Can I at least jerk off on your ass? Get out! Boy? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just taking a leak. Our bathroom smells kind of funny. Well, you know, if you shake it more than three times, you're playing with it. Yeah, I've heard that. But I'm only on the second shake, so I'm good. Okay. Someone or something out there. I think she wanted my shoes. Are, are you okay? Why? Do I not look okay? No, you, you look great. Your hair is pretty. I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, what? I want you to fuck me as hard as you can. What? Fuck it! Why are you smoking that in here? To get rid of the smell of sex. It doesn't smell like sex in here. Not yet. I'm not having sex with you. Alright, alright, alright. How about a nice blowjob for a big red apple? What? Ew, no! So you do for free then? Are you stupid? We're not hooking up. Okay, Sherlock. Why do you think we are conveniently here in the same room together? This is supposed to be me and Samara's room. And Samara invited me. And you and Samara aren't together anymore. That's why she ain't here. You said you was better the first time. 
Yeah, but I her thighs like shaking and shit. Who are you texting? I'm just one of my friends. Mm -hmm. Guy or girl? Girl? She's sending me pics of her new puppy. Really? Let me see. I had to delete it. My inbox was full. Are you being jealous? Fuck this. What the fuck is wrong with you? When you say puppy, do you really mean big fat dick? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Really? I saw the pictures on your phone, Pam. You went through my phone? How crazy are you? Not crazy enough to be with you. Fucker. Dirk! You better get back here, you pussy, or I'm never gonna fuck you again. I've had better sex in boot camp. Dirk! Damn, boy! You look like you're falling away from shitting yourself! I'm sorry, sir. Everything alright with your room? Yeah. Room's fine. It's just the bitch that's in it. I was wondering when you were going to come oh, to. What the fuck? That's a pretty nice goose egg you got on your noggin. Why don't you put your Peter back in your pants? Follow your chicken choking ass with me, and I'll have the missus fix you up. No, I'm, I'm alright, man. Brooklyn. I invited Samara, she invited you. You two aren't together anymore, yet you're here and she's not. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, what you're saying is, I make you feel safe. What? Where would you get an idea like that? Sai, Sai, I know what you meant. I'll protect you. You see these? These are considered deadly weapons. They are registered in all 65 states. I shouldn't even be wearing these right now. Why you think I had to move out of Brooklyn? Because I was banned. You want to know what my, my warrior name was? Big Fat Dick Deadly Hands. I can't even jerk off with these bad boys no more. <laughs> I'm going for a walk. Cool. Can you bring me back a sweet tea and some ginger snaps? Yeah, sure. Thanks. You're welcome. Rogue stranger with manners? I'm just trying to change the rogue stranger's bad rep. I'm sorry, are you hitting on me? What? You're Pamela's boyfriend, aren't you? 
I was, but I just found out she's been cheating on me. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I feel like such an idiot. No, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Wait. I'm Christine. I'm Dirk. So, are you headed to the beach, or...? I was. Not so sure now, though. You? Yeah, me and my BFF. That's cool. Um... So you're in the army, right? Yeah, I was. Up till a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's a long story. Bad ending. You're really on quite the roll, aren't you, Dirk? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. You want to talk about it? Mm, no, that's cool. I won't judge you. Okay. Were you overseas? No, local. I just got out of boot camp and realized it wasn't really my thing. No? Uh, it was more or less my dad's dream. Did you know on average 12 people a year die from vending machines falling on them? Do vending machines just randomly fall onto people? Oh no. Most of the time people just get pissed, they lose their money or their snack and they shake it. The other ones are random though, like fluke earthquakes. And why are you putting your vending machine expertise on display for me? Are you trying to impress a girl? Well, dangerous vending machine, dark motel, late at night. Shouldn't you have your boyfriend take care of this? Well, I don't have a boyfriend. A no? No. Cool. <laughs> so you are hitting on me. What if I was? That depends. Are you a psychotic rapist? What if I was? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> No, I'm nothing like that at all. I don't think you would tell me if you were. No, no, I'd say something. Psychotic rapists take a solemn oath. Well, Dirk, go ahead and hit on me. See where it takes you. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so after I graduate, um, I'm going to go to veterinarian school. Oh, so you like animals? No, I hate them. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> My dad's a vet, too. Oh, your dad was in the war. Shut up, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm a bit of a daddy's little girl. No. Well, I'm a bit of a daddy's girl, too. You are such a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Cut it out. Now, me, I'm more of a mama's boy. What does your dad think about you leaving the army? Well, he doesn't know I left. He thinks I graduated. He even bought me a gun as a graduation present. I just really haven't had the heart to tell him I left. Well, I'm sure he'll understand. So, are you a cat or dog person? Well, I love all animals, but mm -hmm. since you're so eager to <laughs> categorize me, I would have to say I'm a cat person. Oh, lame. What? No, you cat people, you're just... weird. We are not. <laughs> no? No. No, really, you are. Did you know, on average, mm -hmm. that 12 old ladies a year die by their cats eaten alive? Here's a stats man again. No, really, I'm serious. I'm not talking about the ones who just hoard like 78 of them in their single wide trailer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the ones that just have one or two of them. You forget to feed them one night? And the next thing you know, BAM! <laughs> Kitten shout. And you cat people are notoriously violent. No. Yes. <laughs> and another thing, cats are just so dumb. Now dogs, that is a smart animal. Cats are way smarter than dogs. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And how many drug-sniffing cats have you heard of? Twelve. Oh. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like it was Carrie.
sorry, it, it was a reaction. Oh. Oh. We should stick around to find out. I think so. Are you okay? No, what the hell is going on and why wouldn't that guy just die? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm calling the police. Hi, yes, please. You gotta send someone quick. My best friend just tried to kill me. I think it's something she ate or she's on her period. Redwood Motel. Christine. Yes, please, hurry. Have you seen my keys? Come on, come to daddy.
you okay? No! Fuck! Yo, shorty, where's my ginger snaps? Brooklyn, I'm gonna need you to listen to me very carefully. Who the fuck invited John McClain? What's with the burner, John? It's for protection. And you need to listen to your friend. You only pussies carry guns. You see these right here? Yo, you see these? Brooklyn! Carrie's dead and she's trying to kill us. Who the fuck is Carrie? She's still out there. Are you guys for real? No bullshit. Take a look for yourself. I don't see no dead bitch. Ah! 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 What the fuck? Get, get the fuck out of here! Hey, relax! We have to stay calm, alright? Then who the fuck are you? I'm the guy that's gonna save your ass. Call me Dirk. What? Is this guy for real? Hey, dispatch, what was the address on that location again? 713 River Road. Now, roger that. Yeah, roger that. I'm on location. I don't see any signs of disturbance. Oh, come on. Come on, little Freddy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. This could happen to anybody, right? What am I gonna tell my priest? Oh, fuck. <sighs> Who is it? Police, open up. Really? Yeah, really, open the door. Just a minute. Sir, open the door. Just one more second. Just open the door now. Open the door now. I'm kinda busy right now, if you leave your name, the number at the tone. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Three! What's going on in here? Nothing, man. We were just sleeping. Sir. Sir, he's dead tired. <clears throat> Why are you guys so close together? Um, we just finished, you know. <laughs> you guys from like California or something? <laughs> no, man, we're just headed towards the beach and we just stopped here for the night. Yeah? What yeah. happened to your head? I got caught on a zipper. Did you guys hear any other kind of noises or anything? Like screams or something? Besides us? No, not really. Well, how about you keep it down then, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm. What was that? Nothing. He's just having a bad dream. Isn't that right, baby? Wow, oh, come on. Go to sleep. You guys must be safe. You too, sir. Have a good night. How could I think your balls were too clits? Great! Thank God, officer! Did you put that gun down right now? Dewey's dirt! Quiet! Good, sir. Okay. I'm putting it down. We're the ones that called you, sir. Oh, come on, buddy. Nice, easy. There you go. 
Someone or something is trying to kill us. Back away slowly. Keep your hands where I can see them. Why aren't you listening to us? Miss! Hands where I can see them. Your dispatch. Sir? Go for dispatch. Dispatch. Yeah, I'm over at the motel and I don't know what the hell is going on over here. Yeah. Miss! Back up! Zombies! Here's what's going on! You motherfucking prick! So tell them to send for the fucking SWAT team and bring the motherfucking army! And between all of those fucks, tell them to pray for a fucking miracle that I don't shove a fireball up your ass! Christine! What?! Jason! What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Stop! What the fuck? No! Whoa. Jason! What the fuck, man? Jason, what the fuck are you doing, man? Jason, stop! Jason, no! Jason! You will not go out that door! No, I will not be seen like this! No! Stop it! You're not gonna make me gay! Stop! <laughs> I'm not gonna die like this. I'm not gonna die like this. No! I'm not gonna die like this. Whoa! Whoa! The key! The key! Ah! Uh, uh.
Check the fuck out.
just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. And hey, thanks for, uh... My god. What? I must be immune. Stay away from me! Christine! Christine! Stay away from me! You stay! Are you one of them? Are you one of them? No! Was she one of them? She was pretty. Yeah. She was. Where you headed? South. That's where my family is. We just came from South, man. Fuck chaos. Fuckers are everywhere. Is there anyone left? A few. Where are you going? South. Did you hear what we just said, man? Ain't nothing down there. I'll take my chances. What exactly do you think you gonna do? Earth just Googled hero. That came up number one. What the? And there was nothing left to do but die. But now I think I see the light. Think I see the light through the crack in my coffin. Now think I see the light. Think I see the light. Think I see the light. And my soul is gonna be alright. Because I think I see the light. Think I see the light through the crack in my coffin. Now think I. See Think I see the light. Think I see the light. And my soul's gonna be alright. I was already packed and all ready to go. When the reaper came a calling, I was praying to the Lord, please come and save my soul. While my body was a calling, my body is deceased. My body is deceased. My body is deceased. Morning and I kicked 
that dog I beat my neighbor's head in with a big maple log Then I called his big fat hairy wife a big fat hairy slob I had the blues The mean motherfucker Thank <laughs> you.